What's going on YouTube? Clayky's Zolt back again, and today this is my first impressions and beginner's guide for the new game by Gumi called The Alchemist Code. So what is The Alchemist Code? The Alchemist Code is a new game from Gumi. You guys may know them. It is another gacha game, but this more of is an RPG tactical, um, you know, strategic battle game similar to Final Fantasy Tactics or uh, Ogre Battle 64, if you guys have ever played them, where you'll build a party. They'll have different roles, mage, you know, knight, paladin, ninja, and you'll go in, they'll have different abilities, and you fight on like a 3D platform. Each character has a certain amount of movement spaces, and then it range depending on their class and their attacks they're using, as you can see behind me. And they even have elements that they have to, to make a character weak or resist to another character due to elements uh, not only in the attacks but again what the, actually what the character is so in this brief overview guide I'm gonna try to fit everything I can in here guys I'm really enjoying this game we're gonna go over summons how to summon how you should be summoning how to what you should be rerolling for and things like that then we're gonna talk about um the actual units and units uh, progression, how to level a unit up, how what kind of like, how what do all those equipment means and what does it all mean to level up limit break, things like that. Then we're going to go over the shops because in this game you earn Zinni, which is an in-game currency uh, that is different from the actual currency that costs money. And that is very useful. It is used in a lot of cases here. So I wanted to give an overview of the shops, explain that to you guys. Then we're going to go over PvP and finally just show you guys questing, story questing or event questing and show you guys what that's all about in the gameplay. So let's get into it on the first to teach you guys how to summon and what you guys should actually be summoning for all right guys how do we summon from the main menu here we want to go ahead and go into summons now this at first may seem a little bit overwhelming to people that are new to the game but i promise it's not going to be that bad we'll go to the bottom down here and go to rare summon um, every 72 hours, you guys are going to get a rare summon. These are like, this is just like the normal summon. There are no raid ups, I do not believe. Uh, you're just going to go in here. You can get good units from here, but uh, that's how it's going to work. Guys, in this game, blue is three star, yellow is four star, and red is five star. So red's going to be the best. Again, free 72 hour. If, you, if you're feeling lucky, you, you want to pull off banner, you guys can pull here. Then we have the normal summon, which can get you equipment uh, or some units also. This is used uh, from Zenny. As you can see in the rare summon, you have to use gems, which is the premium currency. Zenny is just in-game currency you earn. You were given 10, 10 free draws, I do believe, and it takes some time in between each one you can do. This is where you can pick up some equipment you may need to make a job higher or equipment you can put on your character along with some units. Uh, it's cool they give you free ones if you want to use there. Uh, here in the tickets, you have any of the tickets you may acquire in the game. Apple summons, um, you know, equipment summons, normal rare summons, four-star tickets, things like that. That's going to be used here. And then here is where we're going to start talking of the um, actual, um, you know, rate up banners and the, the step up banners we want to talk about. These first two here are referring to gear. Now, there's gear that you use to uh, absorb into a job, make your character stronger, and make your job level up. And then there's gear that is uh, actually equipped to the character that they will take forever. It's not used. Uh, you can actually level up this gear, etc. And that's what this is referring to here. Guys, you have a gear step up banner. The step up banner goes as follows. You can spend 500, I think it's 300 on this actually. Yeah, for gear, you can spend 300 instead of 1500, which is awesome. It'll get you a 10 pool. Uh, step two is 900, step three is 1500. If you do all the steps, you get one of these four guaranteed on that last one. I wouldn't recommend going all the way up, and I'm not even sure if you guys should be pulling on this first gear one anyway. I did because it was so cheap, it was only 300 gems. And guys, you earn gems like candy in this game. Um, that's something you guys may want to look to in the future. Certain uh, units can only equip certain things or certain equipments have job specific things they need done uh, But I'm pretty sure that this uh, Crimson Guard right here you can equip on anyone I think I did end up pulling it and now for the featured banner the one you guys are probably looking to summon on We have two here. We have the nine step banner Which is something I would never do unless you're a well personally You can see you get a bunch of cool stuff though as you go up if you're well out in this game They treat you good step one you get 30 gold uh, ingots which you sell to uh, get more zenny it goes all the way down. You can even get a five-star equipment ticket right there. Summon a five-star ticket. This is for people who are actually going to spend a lot on the game. What I would do as a Dolphin to free-to-play is always take advantage on a featured banner of the 500 pool. It's only 500 gems to pull 10 times. That is amazing. That's amazing value. From what I've been doing, getting reports and my own, I've only done two of those. Two 500 pools. Um, they had one in the soft launch of the game I was a part of, and then one that released today with the global release. I have pulled a rainbow in both of those. I pulled two Yomis, I think is her name. And you can see here on this banner, we have Anastasia, Yomi, Chloe, and Reagan are rated up. There will be several banners going on. If you go all the way up to line, all the way to 2,500, what is that going to cost you? 4,500 gems. You are guaranteed one of these people. Um, you do need dupes in this game to uh, limit burst. We'll talk limit break uh, later. We'll limit break the character. Uh, that will unlock different jobs for the character. Each character can have a certain amount of different jobs they can do. Um, those can be also earned elsewhere. But guys, 
what are the units you guys are looking to summon on here? I've heard that Yomi's really good if you can unlock her ninja class early on, which means you're going to need two of her. Um, I've heard that Reagan's really good, Anastasia's pretty strong. But the unit you guys are going to be looking to get is this bad boy over here called Vettel or Vettel. If you guys look at the PvP, he look, he's looking real strong. Uh, he's very good. That's like the one you guys are chasing after really strong if you guys want to get the best one if you do want to reroll. And rerolling in this game is pretty simple. It just takes a while because of the tutorial. You just either delete the app data or delete the game all, all the way. It's nothing like FFB where you have to actually connect to Facebook uh, to actually reroll it. Also, guys, there are two four stars you guys should be on the lookout for. One is Karis. She is a gunner. It can turn into a sniper. She's very, very strong early on. If you guys get her, that's really awesome. She's actually just insane. And then we also have Lucian, who I've heard and I also have played with, and he's actually really strong too. He can also be enhanced into a job and becomes even stronger later in the game. He's actually very future-proof. So those are the guys I'd be, uh, be pulling on the units if you guys want to get into the game and become strong from the beginning. Rerolling is not necessary, though, in my opinion, as... Um, the game just hands out gems like crazy. Next up is enhancing a unit, and as you guys can see here, we're using Diaz, who is a main storyline character. The other one is uh, Lo Logi or Logi. I can't really remember how to say it, or I don't. I do not know how to say it. But guys, uh, one key factor before we go over how to actually, uh, you know, enhance a unit is you want to keep those two story characters up. Do not let them fall behind. One, you have to take them on a lot of the story missions, uh, and if they die, you lose. And two, they're actually really good units, so you want to keep up with them. So, looking at this screen at first, you may be taken back a bit, but each uh, each character have a, has a few things. They have their level, all of their stats here. You have job, enhanced unit, abilities, ability setup, and then you have the different jobs they can be. So for, starting out, Dias was a soldier, and then he also had the ability to become a Dark Knight. Uh, to be able to unlock Dark Knight, you guys need to limit break a character. How do you limit break? You need to take five of a person's soul shards and feed it into them. Now, for the story characters, you have to attain those through a story uh, quest or unlock them uh, with, you know, the missions you get. You know, uh, you know, what would you call them? Achievements you can break in the game, things like that. Um, but for other characters, you can summon them or buy them out of the shop. It takes five for one limit break up. To unlock a job, it normally takes, for this one, it was five limit breaks. So I've limit broken five times. That allows his combo points to go up, and that's, uh, that's for later on advanced combat. And then it also allows him to be able to go up an extra level. Um, the first thing you also see over here is a level. A, uh, a person's level is dictated by one, their evolution. So you can only go up to level 35 right now. And two, your actual account level. Now I can't level anybody past, um, 37, even if I tried to, it wouldn't allow me because my account isn't that high. But once we get to 60 and beyond, you can start leveling up characters higher than that. Uh, so let's take this guy, for example. How do we level him up? What do we do? We feed him apples, of course. You guys have gotten a lot of apples. We're going to go ahead and feed him a forbidden apple, and it's not going to let me. You guys will see this. Experience requires required for this unit's max level will be exceeded. So that means I'll kind of waste the apple, so we don't want to do that. We want to use this tinier apple, and then boom, it leveled up a little, little bit. We'll do it again, and uh, level up. There you go. His stats go up. Now, let's say I wanted to go to 37, and I couldn't because I'm at 35. I have to evolve my units, and evolution takes it from a 3-star up to a 4-star. You can see their max being up there. But it looks like I don't have all the materials needed. And one thing cool about this game is it's super awesome. I can just click this, and it tells me to go into the Alchemy Hunt Advanced or, or Intermediate, and that's where I get them. Soul Alchemy, Alchemy Hunt, Alchemy Hunt, Intermediate, Advanced. I can get those from there. It's really awesome. It's very streamlined to tell you where you need to go to get these things. But if I did that, it would allow my level to go up higher. Another thing you guys may be looking at is this gear here. There's a lot of stuff going on here. The top gear is the gear I was talking about you can get from the summons. For example, this is the gear that'll just sit on there forever. You can actually level this gear up, which is a whole other thing. Um, but this is just, this is like the normal gear you would think of in a game. You put it on a unit and it makes them stronger. You can unlock more gear as you limit break up higher. You can see here that I can get limit break 10, limit break 25. I'll level them up. Another cool thing I didn't show here is it actually tells you where to get DS's soul shards. I can go here and farm this event. And if I do, I get Diaz's soul shards, which is pretty cool. I gotta say, that's pretty cool. Now, that is, um, the, the farming of most of the soul shards is done in the hard mode of the story, and that is limited to three per day. So I can only get three Diaz, um, normally on, on a normal day, three Diaz's soul shards per day from just farming hard story. I get some more through achievements, things like that. But what is all this stuff? All this equipment here is used to job level up. Uh, that is to level up this Dark Knight job from four to six, or any job you may be working on. So I can go through here in, 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 independently and hit equip, put it all on him. Or I can hit job level up, and that's just going to put all of them on him, and he's going to absorb that, go into his stats, make him stronger, and level his job up. As you can see, I went from 4 to 5, leveled up, and now I need all of these. Uh, and it looks like I have almost, I do have all of them. I can job level up. But do you see this one, how this one says craft? If I click on that, I don't have any of this. But if I go over here, 
I can make one by uh, actually crafting this item using these. But let's say I didn't have this. Let's say I didn't have enough of this. Let's say I didn't have one of this item right here. I, I, I needed more. I can click that. Again, it tells you where in each quest you can go. I can click that quest, for example. Let's say I needed more of these. Um, I can go in here. I can do the quest on my own. Or let's say I want to use a skip ticket. You click right here. Go down to one. Click OK. Boom. I got three of them right there. There we go. We go next. Shows leveling up. Shows my experience. I hit, I hit back. Takes me right back to this spot. I can hit craft. I don't even have to hit the craft button, by the way. I could just hit job level up. Bada bing, bada boom. His job is all the way up now. He is a Dark Knight level 6, and he's learned some abilities, which is pretty sweet. Uh, there are some other things you guys want to learn about. That was jobs. We've already talked about enhanced unit abilities. Each each, each, each unit is going to have abilities you guys are going to level up. And uh, the first question I had is, do I want to level up my soldier abilities uh, only, or do I want to level up my Dark Knight abilities? You want to level them all up. Leveling them all up will unlock special traits and passives for you across all jobs. Very important. How do you do this? You just click level up. Boom. Leveled up immediately. You can see these skill points up right here are, are going down. But you can see that I get a new one every two minutes. It just stops you from mass spinning them. And again, that's why Zinni is so important because Zinni is used for so many things. And you guys can hold it to start leveling it up. You can also hold on War Arts and it'll tell you what you get on each level. See, reach level 8 to learn Fatal Risk. And, the, and that's pretty much how that goes. It's very important. And then you can go to Ability Setup and look at all the abilities you have. Uh, through Ability Setup, you can set job specific abilities and actions, things like that. Which is very important when you're setting up your unit. But that's pretty much the... I tried to make a quick general overview of how to make your characters stronger. Um, how, how to expand them. But I love how the game is so streamlined when it comes to finding what you need and how to get a hold of it. Now we're going to go look at shops and what they have to offer us. We are going over shops, guys, but a quick thing I wanted to point out is if you have this thing right here covering your uh, thing up, you guys can just click challenges or click off of it. Click somewhere on the map. It will show you where you can add friends. Uh, that's where you can go in there and get the friends. Now, that was hard for me for a while. There. I was like, how do I get rid of this? If I click this, it brings this up. You just want to click the challenges section. But anyway, you guys have several shops you can go to in this game, which I think is insane. We have the normal shops you go to. You unlock them differently. And guys, it will tell you when you go to this, these normal shops, convert Zenny items uh, to, uh, to Zenny. You always want to do it. They're only used for that. So you can see I had um, bronze 18, boom, bada bing, bada boom, and put money in my account. You have Anna's shop, which you can go in and spend Zenny on. You can get a lot of these great items. There are um, different kinds of, you know, different kinds of equipment, maybe to level up a job on a unit. You can even get soul shards from here to uh, limit break a unit. And this all changes uh, differently. You can click update and spend money to update it, but you can change it. It changes every now and then uh, throughout the day. Same with Maria's shop here. You can spend Zenny. It has different kind of options here. And then you can even spend some gems to maybe get a little bit more rare soul shards if you want to. And then you unlock a new shop. I haven't even unlocked that yet. I am level 40. We'll get there when I get there. I've been wanting to get there, but I haven't. But the most important one as a beginner, guys, is to go to the secret shop and go to the beginner shop. The beginner shop is only open for a certain amount of days. I have two days left in mine, and this stuff is well worth buying. I bought almost everything out. I think I bought everything out today, uh, and some of them will come back. Some of them won't. You guys can see you can get the Forbidden Apple, which is the most experience-giving apple. It is a lot of Zenny, but again, you can just farm Zenny. There are, there, are, there are quests where you can just go farm Zenny, get gold, trade it in, get more Zenny. I bought those. Make sure you always buy the Equipment 10 Summit tickets. If you're not going to buy all these uh, intro sets, to level up jobs that's fine but make sure you're getting the forbidden apples the equipment and then i know the skip tickets are expensive they are so expensive 150,000 per but i have learned the power of skip tickets guys make sure you do this take advantage of the beginner shop it is very important it's not there forever make sure you get a hold of it and then then you'll have shop in here where you can spend massive amounts of money like if you pulled a reagan you didn't pull another one but you want the 50 shards you can spend 3,000. Now, that's really expensive, or down the line, I've heard that these characters will be available to get soul shards from doing hard quests in the story or other quests like that, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, moving on, you get different equipment and uh, all kinds of different options. When you want to unlock a new job, um, I didn't get to show this in the job section, you will need that job's, like, job token. You'll need six of them to unlock the job. You can obtain them here, you can obtain them in quests, there's all kinds of ways. Again, all you gotta do is click it and it'll show you where you can get it from. Uh... Then we have the adventure shop. Again, you guys, you just have so many options to buy stuff from, which is pretty awesome. Make sure you're checking your shops. One thing I do want to point out is that this, these right here, which I learned later on, are used to level up your actual equipment that will stay on your characters and not get absorbed. That's what you have to buy in order to do that, okay? So make sure to be on the lookout for that. Again, shops change da uh, daily. Some of them change daily. Some of them change in the middle of the day. A couple of other ones, uh, shops you have available to you. I know what you're thinking, too many shops. As you do the arena, uh, you are given arena coins you can spend in this shop. 
co-op uh, depending on how high uh, ranking you are up in the arena. If you play multiplayer, you're getting multi uh, multi uh, coins you can spin in here. We can buy all kinds of stuff in here with our multi coins. The more multiplayer you play, the more you can get right there. And then finally, we have one more shop, which is called the Soul Exchange Shop. The way to obtain these, I do believe, um, convert soul shards. If you have extra soul shards, you don't want to spin them. You can just convert them into soul shards, uh, coins, and you can spin them here in the uh, exchange for items. Uh, you can see here, if I spend 750, I can get three Yomis. Uh, I, I've got Lucian in there, who I really actually need. Uh, you know, gold, uh, the the one that, uh, you know, there's just so much stuff you can buy, guys. So remember, check, check, check your shops. Uh, spend your Zenny, make Zenny. It's very strong. I love how the currency in this game works. Now let's move on to PvP and quest and show you guys how the actual game plays. All right, on to PvP. So I think you have to be level 15 or something like that. It'll unlock Arena. So we'll go to Arena. It's it's pretty simple how Arena works actually. Uh, I think you're giving five uh, battle points or battle pods, whatever you want to call it. You can do it five per day. I don't think you can refill this up. You have an attack team. You have a defensive team. Um, the de defensive team is obviously the one that's going to be attacked by others. Your attack team is the one you're going to be using. You set it up like this. There are leader skills in this game, which can be very important. You want to make sure you pay attention. Everybody has a leader skill. It'll show you your total attack, uh, your ranking, and then, uh, you can just go to select opponent, and you find somebody that has a lower power to you. This guy looks easy. I'm going to click him and hit fight. And then you go at it. It's actually co all anime, like, computer generated, like, you AI. AI is fighting it out. You can't do anything about it. Um, but I kind of like that. I kind of like to see if my people can take on the other people. Um, another thing, guys, is you can click up here and click, uh, skip, and it'll skip the battle and show you guys the results of the battle, which we might do. But again, like it says, it fights each other. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. And I think there's a way that you can, like, there's certain ways to manipulate it. It makes a whole new meta. Certain units are better in the arena because of the, of the AI, things like that. So that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna go and skip it for the purposes of this tutorial and see if I won. I won! I don't know how bad I beat his, beat this guy's booty, but we did it. It'll give us a little bit of experience, some zenny. It'll show us that we went up. So we went to, uh, rank 3,131. One. And since we got a new record, we got five of the gems. I'm telling you guys, they hand them out like you wouldn't believe. Um, and then I'll show you guys just the, the rankings. So it'll show you where you are in the rankings. So I'm over here at, you know, Amateur Alchemist down here. Look at all these. Look at them. There was one, a different one there, a different one there. But look, that's what I'm telling you guys. This guy's strong, okay? He's strong. He's strong <laughs> if you want to get him. All right, now let's look into how the questing works, things like that in the game. Always do your dailies. I'm pointing this out. Do your dailies. Now, there's some characters and stuff that are coming out soon. You can go to events and, uh, you know, you can farm for whatever you need to. You can look here, look at all the different things you can farm. This is where you get a lot of zenny if you need it. Um, this is where you get knights tokens, you know, knights tokens to evolve knight Style, style classes. This is a new event going on right now. I haven't even done it yet, but it's to get soul shards for uh, that unit right there. Uh, what is that? How would you even say your name? Mian? Miane? 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 Uh, however you want to say that, probably getting that wrong too. I suck at saying things. But yeah, and then you can get some gear up here too. Get gear shards to maybe make some gear or something. Uh, this is pretty cool. You can also go to story and do the story it's pretty simple you get into a match you you pick your characters you can pick items to take with you You can also use skip tickets that i'm kind of covering up here uh hiring a mercenary some people are confused on this when you hire a mercenary you pay a certain amount of zenny to them you're hiring someone to work for you friends are at a discount the higher level the person is the more it's going to cost you and then that person actually gets that money so when someone uses your friend unit there you are actually going to make money off of somebody doing that so you'll click who you want to use see i'm going to hire ruse right here jebated click confirm and then I'm gonna use him in battle. I'd click go. Let's say I want to. Uh, let's say I want to farm uh, some hard mode. So hard mode is unlocked after you do a little bit of the normal story mode. We can click down here, and I'm gonna go to this first one right here. This one right here is just hard mode. Hard modes offer different different types of uh, of rewards, things like that. Um, it, it, you can see the loot that's down here that you can get from it. So we can click loot down here. Uh, actually put me back into uh, normal mode, excuse me, but this is the hard mode. You can see here that we get soul shards from hard mode, right? We get, uh, we can get lo lo Logi, 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 I can't say his name for some reason. Soul shards here if we wanted to, we can get this guy's soul shards. You can see we have it available of zero to three. If we click this, it'll show you the, the quest missions which you can unlock as you do it. And then we have the different loots we can obtain in this game. I'm cover kind of covering up this branch right here. Okay, my chair is still going to cover it up, but you can see we this is what we can get. So that's how this game works, guys. You get in, you battle it out. You can auto, and if auto, the, the AI is pretty, pretty dumb. So if that ends up failing you, hey, you can get in there and battle, guys. I'm having a ton of fun in this game, and I'm sure there's a ton more to learn. Again, for now, I'm staying uh, free to play. I'm not going to dolphin, but in the 
uh, made Dolphin, I mean, in the future. In the Japanese version of this game, they've already had a Noctis collab, they had a uh, Final Fantasy XV collab, this Gaia 5 collab, they have Full Metal Alchemist going on right now. Hey, if you're an FMA fan, let me hear it in the comments below. They've had um, Fate Stay, uh, Knight, Unlimited uh, Blade Works, I can get Saber. They've had tons of other collabs, so I'm hoping they bring in a lot to here. Uh, and the rate up scene, the rates seem amazing, and the game's actually fun to play. The only thing I'm missing out on right now is in game, like what happens once I beat all the story that's out and everything. Are there going to be trials? Are there going to be hard things to battle? I don't know. I haven't looked at it in the Japanese version. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're enjoying the game. If you have any more questions or you need to tell me something maybe I missed out on, and then subscribe for future content. Enjoy this game, guys. I'm having a ton of fun. Catch you later.